Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Ryan Blaney's Carlisle Devil Biss Ford for 2018. As always, take a quick look at the box. Got your typical generic 2018 box. Ryan Blaney, number 12, Team Penske, Action Racing Collectibles. Got a picture of Ryan still in the discount tire fire suit, although he still has yet to raise the discount tire car in any series. Anyways, got Ryan Blaney on the side, 2018. Got to render the car right there. Carlisle and standard finish. Made a total of only 493 of these things. Team Penske, standard finish, number 12, Action Racing Collectibles. You, of course, have the features of the body and the die cast on the back of the box as usual. Got 2018 Action Racing Collectibles, all that good stuff, and, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Anyways, let's get down to the car itself. A brand new scallop color we have not seen before, white with orange scallops. Ryan Blaney raced us in the Spring Phoenix race. And now we're reviewing it just in time for the Fall Phoenix race under a little bit different configuration. Although they really just move the start-finish line, but have to see if that changes anything. Anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. Devil Biss has been on Penske's Indy cars before. I think they actually did make one Pablo Montoya's like diecast for one of the Devil Biss cars before. Which all three of these Carlisle cars are basically, you know, kind of like the Menards cars where the primary sponsor of these cars is Carlisle. They're just kind of either like selling off or maybe featuring a brand they like or a partner of theirs. He ran three different cars this year with Carlisle. He got this one, then he ran Hawk in the All-Star Race, and then just last week at Texas he had an Acela one. They didn't offer the Hawk one, I really hope they do offer the Acela one from Texas because that looked really nice, white with the kind of blue scallops. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Devil Biss and Pennzoil. You got Ford Fusion, number 12. Down the side, you got Carlisle. You got Menards in front of the rear wheel. On the C post, you got Dex Imaging. And on the B post, you got Ford, DXC Technologies, PPG, Mazak, Fitzgerald, and Rev. Just got your regular contingencies and stutch up front. Does have Monster and all that. On the back, you got Devil Biss again, number 12. You got Devil Biss again on the deck lid. This is number 161. You got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Let's take a look under the hood. If it wants to open. You got Powered by Ford and Devil Biss. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no trunk on these new ARCs. Roof flaps still do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. That's one problem with these Blaney cars this year is they're kind of really scarce on, you know, logos and everything. This is the kind of car that I'm sure a lot of people kind of probably forgot about pretty quickly. They did put this car in, you know, NASCAR Heat 3, so you can race this car if you buy any of the DLC packs, but... I always like scallop cars, you know. It's kind of nice to get a wide variety of different scallop colors. This is one of the races that actually all three Penske cars were scallops. Logano had the regular show Penzoil car, Blaney had this, and Brad had the Alliance Truck Parts car. It so far happened about four times this year. It did just happen in Texas, because Logano had AAA, Brad had Worth, and Blaney had the new Acela Carlisle car. It happened in Atlanta and Richmond as well. I do always like when that happens. I'm still trying to find a good photo of all three cars as Scallop cars together. Because half the time when you try to find all three Penske cars together, you get a lot of photos from Daytona earlier this year when they were all drafting together, but... You know, they did not have scallop cars in that race. Only Logano did. Brad had Discount Tire and Blaney had Menards. But it's definitely nice that Blaney did get a couple scallop cars this year. They've offered most of Blaney's diecast this year. The only two they have not offered was the Hawk and Carlisle car from the All-Star race and then the Rev car, which happened to be the exact same paint scheme, <laughs> which is weird, but whatever. I really wouldn't have cared to buy the Hawk car, but I really wish they did make the Rev car because... He, that Rev is, he's had Rev like five times this year, and it's kind of an important Penske sponsor. Would have been nice to have with the, you know, Xfinity Rev cars from a few years ago. But, oh well. Not sure why they don't like white and red scallops. Which, I mean, that is basically the most overused Penske scallop car. White with red scallops they've used for like so many cars by now. Worth, Rev, Red Cross, that car you had at Watkins Glen that they offered and then canceled. You had the LTI printing car. I don't know why they use white and red so much, but whatever. Doesn't look bad. If you want this die cast, it is still pretty easy to get right now. I don't see this car getting too rare. I think this year people go after, you know, the 
Menard's primary, the Pennzoil car, probably the PPG, but I don't think they're going to go after like this one as much or like the Dex imaging, but who knows. But in the other chance, ours to say, this has been a review of Ryan Blaney's Carlisle Devil Biz Ford from 2018. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.